you don't get jobs very often that are running around pretending to be pirates and knights and dragons and crocodiles. Absolutely grippingly, swimmingly, fabulously fun. Ask anybody what they love to eat. What really inspired me to adapt Charlie Cook for the stage was the fact that it was a family favourite in our house. This is a musical adaptation of the book and it'll be the fifth time that I've worked with Barb and I just absolutely adore working with her. Sam and I look at the book together and then we start to work out where the key moments are and then I generally can see where I think a song might come. I usually get the melodies when I'm walking on the hill. It'll just, there it is. We start with this idea that reading might be boring for some people, but for some people reading is the best thing in the world. But then by the end, we've got this very clear notion that if you've got a book, you can do anything. You can be anywhere and do anything. The thing that's really lovely about it is that it's not just about trying to say to a reluctant reader, you need to read. It's also about saying to someone who's got their head in a book, come out of yourself and play. I'm a massive Julia Donaldson fan, so being involved in a new adaptation of a really wonderful story is very, very exciting. Yeah, I'll say Charlie's definitely more reserved and I'm kind of like on that spectrum of just being like a chill kind of guy. I think Mum and I don't share the same dress sense, um, she's eclectic. <laughs> I really remember my first trip to the theatre and I'd love to have that magic passed down to children to give them a really special experience that they remember forever. Right, let's start, shall we?